This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Native Instruments have recently released Session Basis Upright Bass, but how does it compare to the competition? Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. We're gonna be taking a look at this new library at the end of this video, but first let's compare it to some of the competition, starting off with a free one. This up Right Bass is a part of the free Contact Factory Selection 2 library, which in turn can be used with the free Contact Player. Now, as you can see, it's a part of the band category of that library. And all of the instruments in the band category look the same. And that's because we can't really change the core instrument sound. We can only add effects to these instruments. You can see, for example, there's a tremolo at the top here. Uh, there's a compressor, etc. However, I do think that the basic sound, excuse the pun, of this bass is pretty decent. Let's just have a quick listen to it. Now, although that is fairly decent, it does lack some things that we might like to see if we want to get a really authentic upright bass sound. Things like that kind of slap sound that you sometimes get from it, or some of the nice bends from one note to another. In order to get those effects, we're going to have to spend a little bit of money and go for the second plugin, which I'm about to show you. However, before we do that, I do think it's important to listen to all of these in some sort of context to see how they're going to feel alongside some other instruments. So let's have a quick listen to this one in context. Spending just $59 gets us the Orange Tree Samples Core Bass Pair Library. And with this, we get a lot more control over the instrument itself. So for example, we can see we can control the hand position or the slide speed here. Or in the level sections, we can control the level of things like fret slides. We also have a bunch of effects that we can get to via key switches. You can see those on the red keys at the bottom here. Uh, they sound like this. And we can incorporate that into the performance to get a more authentic sound. Have a listen. So that really adds to the authenticity, especially if your instrument is a little bit sort of isolated. Now, I must say that this does require the full contact player, adding to the cost a little bit. So hang in there for my next plugin, which costs $79 and doesn't require contact. But before we do that, let's have a listen to this one in context. $79, we get Modo Bass 2. This is not a contact library. This is a plugin all by itself. And at $79, it includes this upright bass and this rockabilly bass, as well as a whole bunch of other electric basses as well. So pretty good value for money. Now, this is the only plugin in this video, which is a modeled instrument. So it's not using samples. It's actually creating the sound of the instrument from scratch. And that means we've got enormous amount of flexibility as well. We can on the fly change things like the playing style or the strings that are being used or the mic position, etc. And also we get some patterns or grooves for the first time here. So that's incredibly useful when you're composing. So how does it sound? Let's have a listen. Now, as I mentioned, we also have this rockabilly up, upright bass as well. That sounds like this. So 
So a little bit of a sort of a boxier sound, if you like, with that one. Now, how does it sound in context? Let's have a listen. you get this upright bass library which is to be used with the easy bass to plug in we'll talk about that in a moment but first of all let's have a listen to this bass in isolation So really a rather nice sounding bass, but it's really with the player that we get a lot of power here because the easy bass system is really about composition in my view. So for example, you can go to the grooves here, you can listen or preview some of the grooves that we've got in here. That one sounds fine to me. I'll just drag it down here to the bottom. And from there, I can do things like change the actual chords which are being used. And I can even go in and fine tune that performance using the grid editor here. And there's other features like this useful drum and keys features where you can use other parts, keyboard parts, the drum parts, drag them in here, and then it will generate a bass line according to that part. So it's a great composition tool, but I think that this bass actually does sound quite good as a standalone kind of instrument if you like. Let's have a listen to it in the context of our piece of music. $169, the Ample Bass Upright appears to be the most expensive instrument on our list. However, we have to take into account this is not a library. This is a standalone plugin. It doesn't require any other plugin. So if you're thinking about money, you may want to keep that in mind. Now, I think it's got one of the richest tones of any of the upright basses here. Have a listen to it yourself and let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me. So I really do like the sound of this instrument very much. Now, as you could hear, it's actually got all of those nice effects and things in there which help to add to the authenticity. We can use the key switches on the right-hand side to play some of those, so we get things like this. And they are velocity sensitive as well. So we can really add to that authenticity with that. And on the left hand side, we've got some key switches which change our playing style. So we can go from say a regular sustain note to a harmonic. We can also change the way that we slide between notes as well. Now with all Ample Sound products, we get a couple of different ways to actually create our parts. So we can either just have it reading the MIDI from our regular door, or we can use this riffer system, or we can use this tab system as well to create our parts. And we also get a few effects in there as well. So we've got a compressor, an EQ, um, we've got this echo or sort of delay effect here, and we've also got this reverb. There's a lot to this plugin, and you can really get some great sounds in with it if you put in a little bit of effort. Let's have a listen to it in the context of our piece of music. Now, before we take a look at session basses, upright bass, I want to remind you, if you want to release your music to places like Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, etc., make sure you follow the VIP link in the description down below to our sponsor, DistroKid. If you follow that link, they're going to give you 7% off of your first year of membership. 
don't miss out. So at $99, we have Session Basis Upright Bass from Native Instruments. This is a contact library and it does require the full version of contact. Now, like all of the instruments in the Session series, there's a couple of different ways you can use it. You can either use it in the full sort of melody mode where you play individual notes like so or you can use patterns. And I can, in this case, use key switches to select patterns. So I've got the Spy A selected here by using a key switch. And if I play one of the notes on my keyboard, it's gonna use that pattern and we can switch from to different patterns as well for variation. So this is a really nice composition tool and there's quite a few different pattern types to choose from as well. If I open up the selector here, I'll just audition some. Let's try uh, Motown bass. Or King's bass. Now, as you can hear there, there's some effects being applied there because as well as being able to control um, some of the different effects on the bass, like muting and slap sounds and all that kind of thing, we also have some control over the sound of our output as well. So we can do some post-processing with that as well. Overall, I really like the sound of this, especially in terms of those effects. That kind of string slapping sound sounds like the most authentic one for me out of all the instruments. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, but let's have a listen and see how this sounds in the context of our piece of music. One of the great things about music is we all have a different opinion of what sounds good. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below about which one of these plugins sounds the best to you. That would be very interesting indeed. Now, one of the great things about living in the modern age is you get to watch content like this completely free. How wonderful for you. All you have to really do to keep it going and support a channel like this is make sure you like the video, leave one of those comments down down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to watch another video. Thank you so much for that and I'll see you in the next video.